Hi, good morning. Welcome to my channel. For this episode, I'm going to have a few comments about the devastating defeat that uh, the Watchtower Organization or the Religion of Jehovah's Witnesses has suffered in a court battle there in the country of Switzerland. Just uh, last uh, July 2019, a court there in Zurich, Switzerland has decided to acquit a certain cult expert psychologist uh, in the name of uh, Dr. Rapel Regina Sves in Zurich, Switzerland. This uh, doctor has uh, criticized in an interview the bad policies and doctrines of the Watchtower Society or the religion of the Jehovah's Witnesses. For example, he has, uh, she has commented on the bad effects to the minors minor members of the Jehovah's Witnesses religion, the shunning, the fellowshipping and shunning procedure that they are doing inside their religion to the psychological uh, well-being of minors Jehovah and the religion of Jehovah's Witnesses. And also the fatal and very dangerous doctrine of the Jehovah's Witnesses regarding the refusal to administer blood transfusion to their dying members when they are being hospitalized due to some accident or serious illnesses. And another thing, the third thing that has been discussed in the court uh, battle, that court uh, case is uh, the two witness rule that uh, the Watchtower organization or the uh, uh, leadership of the Jehovah's Witnesses has uh, is implementing with regards to their uh, um, uh, implementing procedures with regards to child sexual abuse cases inside their religion. This two witness rule according to here has uh, favored the interest of the perpetrators of uh, such crime and continue to jeopardize the safety of minors inside the uh, organization of the Jehovah's Witnesses. And because of that, the Watchtower has uh, filed libel cases against her. But unfortunately for the Watchtower or the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, in that case, they have lost that case and this is a, a monumental and devastating effect for the Watchtower or the Jehovah's Witnesses religion. Why? Because this is the first case, the first libel case that they, they uh, ever filed against their critics. In the past, the Watchtower has uh, filed cases to its critics and the detractors and the social media or in other and some other form of uh, uh, media but uh, uh, most of it uh, involves the copyright issue but uh, this case in Zurich Switzerland is the first libel case they ever filed against a critic uh, a critic uh, of them so they lose why is this case so important well there are two areas where we can uh, say this is a uh, very important and uh, regards to the pre exercise of speech that we XGWs uh, is enjoying because uh, it will stop in a threat. I hope so. That uh, the what star will be post to the pre freedom of expression that we are enjoying and we want to exercise 
and our propagation of this kind of uh, topic regarding the bad effects of the religion of Jehovah's Witnesses to the lives of their members or whoever may embrace their kind of uh, thinking or doctrines. So, let's see. We will uh, continue without, uh, we can continue without uh, any distraction in regards to giving our comments and observation regarding their uh, the way they conduct their religion. So, another thing is uh, this case only proves that what we are saying all this time and our videos is the truth. Yes, the that particular court in Sorex, Switzerland has a permit that we are saying all this time is the truth and the what's tower in the religion is the one at fault here so it vindicates us that uh, court decision is not uh, a victory only for Dr. Uh, Regina Svesh but also for all of us here who is criticizing the Watchtower or the Jehovah's Witnesses religion. And the second thing that uh, we can understand here regarding this piling of cases against their critics and bringing them to court is that uh, it only proves that the Jehovah's Witnesses religion is not a true Christian religion. Why did I have the confidence to say that? Because if we're going to read it from their own Bible, the true translation, Bible of the Jehovah's Witnesses, if, uh, I may indulge your time to open it up at Matthew chapter 5, verses 45 to 48. If you will look it up there, Jesus Christ has told his disciples, the true Christians, that if they are being persecuted or if they have uh, enemies for whatever, whatever reason it may, <laughs> it may came, that they may ever happen a, an enemy. He said that uh, they must continue to bless their enemy and to pray for them so that they can be, they can imitate their Father in heaven who is perfect. That is his uh, instruction for his uh, followers. This that is the right course to follow when their enemy is persecuting them. And uh, this instruction of the Lord is being being adhered to by his followers because one of the apostles of Christ, Apostle Paul, has uh, stated at 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 12 to 13 that if they are being slandered or being attacked in whatever manner, they're going to, they are blessing their their detractors their critics their enemies if anything said about them but is anything bad or slanderous or libelous is being said about them they do not go to court but what they do is to reason mildly to their to their critics. That is the right thing to do. But until now, the Watchtower has not provided any explanation to their wrong doctrines and wrong decisions regarding how they conduct their things inside their religion that is being detrimental and jeopardizing the well-being of their members and others. They do not uh, give explanation but all they do is to Criticize back 
without answering the details. The details. Or discussing hit on the issues that is being held against them. So, because they cannot do that, they just run in their broadcasting and maligning us and tagging us as wicked people and liars without giving any details or arguments to prove that we are liars and that they are the one telling the truth. So because they cannot do that, they go to heart. <laughs> they, taste the, they test the water if they can uh, uh, get back to their critics so that uh, we will be imprisoned or uh, be forced to pay them damages. That is the reason why they do that. Why they file this kind of case against uh, this uh, specific psychologist there in Sorex. But uh, unfortunately for them, they pay. So that is the that is the that is my thoughts regarding this uh, uh, this uh, event. The Jehovah's Witnesses is not a true Christian religion. They do not follow what is being commanded by the Lord or the Apostle in the Bible. They do not follow the examples of the first century Christianity when regards to dealing with their critics or their perceived enemies. It's simply just like that. They are not a true Christian religion. So, this is all for this episode, my dear viewers, and I hope I have uh, enlightened you in one, yet again, in one areas regarding this uh, religion who is uh, uh, masquerading as a Christian religion, but uh, in, re in reality, it is not a Christian religion. Thank you for watching and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and also do not forget to share my videos so that uh, it, uh, my messages will reach people as uh, many as uh, we can and uh, order for them to warn them against the bad effects of joining this religion of the Jehovah's Witnesses which is uh, very dangerous for our well-being. Thank you and may you have a good day.